What is up, everybody? I'm Jared, and I'm back with my core four of MLB picks for prize picks today. If you're new here, make sure to hit like and subscribe. That way we know that you're following along with the picks. Also helps you to get notified when these shows are posted. We do them just about every single day. And if you're not currently playing on prize picks and you want to give that site a try, if you sign up there using promo code WINDAILY, get you 100% deposit match up to $100. We'll also go ahead and throw in a free 60-day trial period of Win Daily Gold. Get you access to our Discord. Get you access to our daily articles. So go ahead and sign up there today using promo code Win Daily. It's spelled out for you right at the bottom of the screen. So if we do a recap of yesterday, we had a pretty strong day. Everybody hit their number uh, except for Matty Olson. Uh, he struggled, as did the Braves, thankfully. As a Mets fan, I was pretty happy about that. Uh, but it would have been nice for him to hit his number and go 4 0. We did end up going 3 and 1, though, so it was a pretty strong night. We will look to improve upon that today and hopefully go 4 0. Let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, the first one that we're going to go with today is going to be Marcus Semyon of the Texas Rangers. Uh, you know it by now. I attack the Oakland Athletics as, as often as I can. Today, the Rangers will take on J.P. Sears. Uh, Sears has really struggled. Uh, he's coming off an outing that saw him give up five earned runs. Uh, righties have been crushing him this season. They have a 316 ISO. So we'll go ahead and attack him with Marcus Simeon. Simeon just continues to rake. Uh, it took him to extra innings last night, but he did have another hit and an RBI. He's now hit safely in nine of his last 10 games, and he's hit this eight and a half number in four of his last five games. Have full confidence that he'll hit it again today, so we're going to go with the over on his eight and a half at our fantasy score. The next one that we are going to go with is going to be Randy Arozarena and his seven hitter fantasy score. Rays get a nice matchup against Nestor Cortez. Cortez is not the same pitcher that he was in 2022. 2023 has been a more of a struggle for him uh, over his last 25 innings. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Over the last is over his last 22 innings of work. He's pitched to a five and a half ERA and his XFIP is also pretty close to that. So we're getting what, what we should be getting over those 22 innings. He's also given up six bombs. Wouldn't be surprised to see him give up a bomb to a Ross today. Uh, a Ross has absolutely crushed lefties this season. Got a 519 Wilba against them and also a 556 ISO. He's coming off a nice night last night. Look for him to continue with that today. So we're going to go with the over on Aroz and his seven hitter fantasy score. Next one that we're going to go with is we're going to go with Lindor of the New York Mets. Uh, the Mets finally won a game last night. I think they've won two of three. Uh, it's a Mets fan. It's been a struggle this year. Uh, hopefully the win last night propels them. Uh, so then, and also with a really strong matchup against Trevor Williams today, that should propel them as well. Need to keep an eye on this one because there is some rain in the forecast, but I do think they end up playing. Uh, Williams has been getting hit extremely hard over his last 25 innings. He's given up 13 barrels. It's just an awful ratio. Lindor, nice night last night. He drove in all three runs last night on a single. Hopefully that is um, the breakout that he needed uh, to get going, hopefully for the Mets too. Um, I have him at nine this afternoon. It's a nice matchup for him against his former teammate. So we're going to go with the over on Lindor and his seven and a half hitter fantasy score. The next one that we're going to go with is going to be Jared Kalanick. I'm going to let it slide that he spells his first name wrong. Uh, but he gets a nice matchup today, as do the Mariners against Alex Fado. Uh, Fado's only pitched one game this season, but uh, if we look all the way back to last season, he struggled at the majors. I think he had an ERA last year well in the fives. Um, against him, really, you want to attack him with lefties. Uh, lefties have a 50% fly ball rate versus him and also a 50% hard hit rate. That's dating all the way back to the beginning of last season. We'll attack him with Kelnick. Uh, he's cooled off a bit since his hot start, uh, but this is a really nice matchup for him today. Um, he's going to be my home run call of the afternoon. Uh, so I do think that he crushes the seven hitter fantasy score. So we'll go with the over. Uh, so if we do a recap of where we're going today, we're going to go with the over on Semyon and his eight and a half hitter fantasy score. We're going to go with the over on Aroz and his seven hitter fantasy score. We're going to go with the over on Lindor and his seven and a half hitter fantasy score. And we're going to go with the over on Kalanick and his seven hitter fantasy score. So that's our core for today. If you end up using them, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions about your own picks, just make sure to drop some notes in the comments. Always happy to answer any questions that you may have. That said, let's improve on yesterday's three and one and go four and zero today. Good luck, everybody.